Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Now there's no gear show today, but do check out the link below because we're in the middle of the Epic TV Shop summer sale and there are some bargains to be had. Now on yesterday's show, we followed Jakob Schuber in the Austrian Summer Cup Finals and today it's the turn of Johanna Faber. Johanna's first boulder was a tough start to the competition. Tiny crimps to kick things off. And she already climbed four times in semi-finals in a bouldering World Cup. So she knows what it feels like. And this could be her boulder. I think she will like this kind of, these kind of moves. If she can crimp hard enough, we'll see. didn't like the care. That right hand just never quite looked comfortable on it, couldn't quite get the left foot to come up. Petra Klingler just looked so smooth on that first attempt, couldn't convert it. Yeah, but you could see on the other two attempts of Petra that it's not, not easy. It's hard to stay on the wall, especially because you have to take your time. And um, yeah, at the same time, it tires you out if you take too much time. So, but I think Jo has the same method as Petra. She wanted to palm again with the left hand now. That's what she tried before. Maybe she'll try again. We'll see. Come on, Jo. Yeah. Not quite. Petra managed to stay in the wall like this, on the wall. Jo is back on the mats. Just over two minutes left for Johanna Faber and then we'll be seeing Eva Maria Hamelmuller, the final finalist. It would be great to see at the top of the boulder. Yeah, maybe we'll see it from you. She has two minutes left. Half of her time is up. And she gives it another go. So she'll go up, I imagine, to the, the same hold with the right hand. Unless she's got a different method in mind. No. Goes up. The tricky bit has been getting the feet engaged. I think she thought about using a knee, but it was a little bit too far away. Brushing off the chalk. Which Don't is forget. Important. It's kind of warm in here already. Yeah, Outside, it's, it's around 30 degrees, I guess. Yeah. And in here will be at 25, I reckon. What do we it's have warm, yeah, it feels quite humid as well. Yeah, it does. Certainly not ideal conditions. Summer has arrived in Innsbruck, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Beautiful day outside, and it's nice that we're here inside because everyone has the same conditions. And now last attempt for Jo Ferber, last minute on this boulder number one. Just going for the same method again, I think. It's just how to get that left foot engaged without swinging out too far from the wall. Yeah, this right hand crimp is no good at all. She will give it another go. One final attempt before the time's up. This time she's got the left foot on. This looks a little more promising. She can't get the left hand engaged and, oh, and maybe foot she was swung a out behind her. stressed out now because she knew the time was against her. But that was a good attempt actually from Jo Ferber. Only Petra and Jesse managed to get the zone on boulder number one. Johanna needed to bounce back, but boulder two featured some tricky slab moves. We went for that top hole. We saw the replay there. It looked like she was trying to squeeze it, but it's dual texture and the th your thumbs just aren't doing they're Yeah, not doing hold, some, sometimes these holds look okay, but when you're on the wall, they're just not as good. It's actually hard to, to do this move. But Jo, who is out now, she qualified in second place from the semi-finals, and she's a very technical climber, so usually she's extremely good at slabs. And I'm looking forward to see her performance now on boulder number two. 
So we saw Petra do a slightly more complicated hand swap to get in position. Hannah Ferber trusting yep. her flexibility and just getting she the left foot straight She has to be called down up. though. She did not get into the starting position. Didn't tap the left foot. And has to start again, just like Sandra. And now it's really important to forget about this incident. As a climber, you shouldn't be worried about the judge's decision or shouldn't be angry at them, even though that's not easy <laughs> at times. <laughs> now that's controlled. So no doubts mm. about the start this time. She does this part easily. Come on, yo. And as I said, usually she likes slabs. Let's see if she likes this particular slabs. Of course, there are so many different <laughs> ways to set a slab. Really tricky. Let's see if she moves over to the left hand screw hold. Come on, and yo. Does not have a chalk bag with this, so can't chalk up while she thinks about it. I would need one right now, I have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I think I've got mine in my bag. I'd love to have chalk right now. <laughs> Ah. It must close be really for you. Sorry? Sorry, it was close for you. Yeah. It, it must be really tricky when you get called down for a false start or something. Yeah, it's definitely tricky for your mind. I mean, you, as I said, you have to forget about it. Yeah. You have to um, concentrate on the boulder and try to do better next time. Um, Bouldering is all about blocking out other things. You can't think about the performance of the other athletes, you can't think about the judges. Usually what helps sometimes is the crowd, but we don't have a crowd today. So it's a special, special event. Now then, what is she trying here? Oh. Oh. Really uncomfortable looking foot swap. She's not even looking at the top hold. I think she definitely wants to use that tiny, tiny little jib in the corner. Yeah, and this looks really promising for you, Hannah Fair, but she's got the foot up. She goes to the top, gets it with one hand, but not the other. But oh, this is a tricky top section. She has 50 seconds left on the clock. I don't know what time, time is always running when climbers are on the slab. Somehow it feels like she's only had one minute. I know, you look at the clock and you think, no, really? Yeah. Having to rush things a little bit more, kind of slap the feet through this time. Couldn't go down to swap her feet, but she has got time but she can to give do it this. One she's more got try. one more attempt at this Come top on, method. Got the foot Come in on. place. You can do it. And she finds the first top of the final, Johanna Ferber. She had a good look at the top section on the previous attempt. This time, yes. she makes it stick. First climb is to find the top. Nice one. First one to top of order. Um, yeah, she can be satisfied. That was a very good effort with, I believe, 15 seconds left on the clock. Oh, and there you can see her smile. Nice one, Johanna. She was in a great position going into Boulder 3, and the win was still possible. Johanna Faber now, one of only two climbers with the top. She topped Boulder 2 on her uh, fourth attempt. And of course, if she manages the top on this one, it'll put her in a nice spot. Well, but it'll guarantee her first or second, which is pretty nice. Yeah. But as we just saw, this boulder is not easy and um, hopefully she'll manage to get this first two moves. Oh, nicely stuck by Anna Felba. Come on, you'll get the zone. Yes. Oh, and latches wow. the zone as well. Now she, she's going for the left hand heel hook. Come on, yo. That's the Whoa. penultimate hold there. Just needs to bring the right hand up. 
and then the top beckons. You need to get her feet sorted out, and then you've got to commit 100% to the top move. But Johanna Faber climbing absolutely superbly here. She's only gone and topped it. She'll finish first or second, we know that. Puts real pressure on Eva Maria Hamelmuller. Wow, that was impressive by you. A flash on this boulder. We've just seen the two world champions, Chessie and Petra, struggling with the move, and then Jo comes out and flashes it. Good job to Johanna. Of course, she knew that she already had one top in the bag, in her bag, and now she has two. So, yeah, that was a strong performance from Johanna Felber. Real, real pressure now on Eva Maria Hamel Muller. And now a last move. Wow, nice. <laughs> she might have surprised herself a little bit. I mean, she knows she knows that she's strong, but. <laughs> Johanna was picking up the pace. A top on Boulder Four meant victory. Yeah, Johanna knows that the win is possible for her tonight. A zone might actually do it, depending on attempts, but a top will make it definite. Oh. Super calm. Roll here tonight. That looked really good. Come on, you. She is just having a low gravity day. Yeah, she's definitely she's flying. having a good time. Come on, you. Oh. The other women struggled with the first move. She struggled with the move to the zone. All climbers are different. And yeah, let's just hope she will figure it out. She's analyzing the moves. And there she goes again. So again, no problem with that first move. It was this move that she struggled with last time, going up to the zone. Just setting herself. This time she gets it. So Johanna Faber up to the zone. Will she spot the Petra Klingler method? It looks like she's going to go out left as everyone apart from Petra has done up to that tiny crim. She's getting herself set now to go there. And if she can go there, she will win the competition. I think she thought she had it, let alone us. Yeah, I think she was surprised a little bit. But she has two more minutes on the clock, so only half her time is up. She will give the holds a good brush right now. And I think she knows that she can actually do this boulder. And she will know that that's what it would take today to secure the win in this Austria Climbing Summer Series. Yeah, first competition of the Corona era. Yeah. And she's Doesn't look close. different on the live stream. No, she it doesn't look different. In here. There's no crowd, no spectators. Ah, and Jo is getting a little bit nervous. It looks as if she definitely knows what's in the cards for her today. And she can do it, come on, one more minute. I mean, she might have done enough already, we should say that. That's true, but I mean, she's looking for the top. She can do the top. She proved oh. that she's very strong tonight. And I want to see this top from Jo Falba. Come on, Jo. Okay, here she goes, lining it up again. She's onto that zone, she'll go out to the crimp again. Come She's on, been Yo. in this position before, she got a really good hand on the top. This time she gets two hands on the top and she wins the competition. Johanna Feber will be the only climber with three tops. She's going to win here in Innsbruck. Does she realize what the exactly what has just happened? She's won the competition. Maybe it didn't sink in yet, but she will realize once she's in the transit zone. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think she did realize. Good job from you. So yeah, Hannah Faber is going to win here. Eva Maria Hamelmuller, who's topped the rankings in the qualifiers and the semi-finals, has the opportunity to claim second. Uh, a top, regardless of attempts, will do it.
Thanks to everyone who helped with that competition. And remember, if you want to see the full finals replay, there's a link in the description below. That's it for this week. Have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you soon.